Hey there, gang. I'm my radar meteorologist, Matt Capucci, with a concerning tropical update. It now looks like the Gulf of Mexico scenario, which we talked about yesterday, is now becoming more likely. The American GFS model and the European model are now in agreement that Debbie is likely to form in the Gulf of Mexico and to bring direct impacts. The tropical wave doesn't look like much right now, but it will begin intensifying tomorrow into the weekend. It could make landfall somewhere in the eastern Gulf of Mexico and perhaps bring direct surge and wind impacts and perhaps a decent amount of surge. Or it could stall near the coastline and unleash feet of rain. We just don't know yet. Impacts farther inland are also likely. We're talking heavy flooding rains and tornadoes. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm likely heading down to chase this this weekend into early next week, pushing back my Paris vacation. So again, stay tuned and follow my radar across the board on all social media platforms as well. So diving in right now, our tropical wave is located near Hispaniola. It's replete with convection or shower and thunderstorm activity, more so than 48 hours ago. That's helping moisten the atmosphere, kind of getting a bubble of humidity around it that makes it easier for this thing to slowly organize. We can also see a little bit more twist with this thing, so again, it's trying to sort of start to spin. In addition, we see the harsh upper level winds to the north of the system are beginning to slowly weaken these next 24 hours. That will make it easier for the system to organize and come together. Around that time, the system will still have a broad lobe of vorticity or spin and not really have tightened up yet, but I think that broad spin will be located somewhere near like western Haiti to Cuba to maybe near like the Florida Straits, somewhere in there. And eventually a tighter packet of spin or vorticity will form and that will become the center of our nascent storm. It looks to me like this eventual tightening of spin might happen somewhere near like central eastern Cuba or even just south. So again, the northern track out to sea, less likely at this point. That will prime the system to be scooped north into the Gulf of Mexico. If that happens, at least some steady strengthening is likely and rapid intensification not off the table. Here's why. Water temperatures, red hot. It's like bath water down there. That is high octane fuel for a tropical cyclone to use. And moreover, we see clockwise spreading of the winds aloft. It's like a vacuum in the upper atmosphere. The air spreads out, it diverges. That sucks in air from below, helping the storm to intensify. So again, impacts from storm surge and wind are are likely. We don't know yet where and we don't know yet how bad it will be. How strong the storm will be, we just don't know yet. And there remains a wide envelope of scenarios as to where the storm eventually comes ashore. So again, that's a wild card too. My big concern too is steering currents. They're very weak. That number one makes us unpredictable, but number two might let the thing stall. Here's an example. The upper level winds, Jet stream well to the north. There's nothing to really scoop our storm along. For that reason, it might sit and stall for days. That could happen anywhere across the south, the Gulf Coast, or the southeast. Maybe it'll move inland, maybe it'll meander near the coastline, maybe it'll go back out over the water and strengthen. Again, everything is on the table. Theoretically, it could go inland and then park. That would mean two plus feet of water for somebody. Freshwater flooding, a big issue. Maybe in Northwest Florida, the Big Bend, the Panhandle, maybe Southern Alabama, maybe even Georgia or heck, Louisiana, Alabama, we just don't know. It could stall offshore, rapidly intensify, and then come ashore perhaps as a more significant hurricane. That's on the table too. And alternatively, maybe it'll just barrel inland and then slow down over the southeast, giving them flood impacts and perhaps a few tornadoes for days on end. Until a center forms, forecasting this thing will be very difficult. So again, we won't know much more today. Tomorrow we'll have a better idea. In the meantime, please stay tuned to updates. These are important updates. It is an evolving situation. Erica and myself may be deployed to Florida. We'll have to figure that out. In any case, stay tuned, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and follow my radar across the board for all details as well. Follow my radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download my radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.